everyone. My name is Kathy Vandiver and I'm the inventor of these uh, Lego DNA and protein sets. And I'd just like to show you quickly what the DNA looks like in Lego. Also, what proteins look like in Lego. And uh, there are lots of other molecules you can make from the set as well. But those are the two main actors. Um, I'm saying actors because what's really unique about the materials for teaching is that, number one, because it's Lego, of course everyone wants to, to um, try it out. So that's really a huge advantage you have in the classroom, is that teachers uh, and uh, students can't wait to see how it's going to work. And the uh, second point is that they actually do work. A lot of other models are not made to be manipulated. Most models of DNA are just very static. But what we'd like to point out is that these models were designed to be used and shown to uh, perform as molecules will. So our DNA can come apart very easily, and we can make messenger RNA, and therefore do all the process of transcription. We also can produce through translation and all the molecules of tRNA some fabulous proteins. So these are what proteins look like in LEGO. And these are the individual amino acids, and when they're in chains, we can teach all about protein folding with it as well. For instance, this could fold up and have an active site right here that could interact with other proteins. So the key point about these teaching materials is they're very novel from the standpoint of they're tactile, and they also show exactly how the molecules themselves work. And the difficult things to understand about biology nowadays and, and cell biology are the cell processes. Because you can always look at structure in a book and memorize it, but this processes are harder to follow if you're trying to learn them. So if your hands learn them by doing them, and you have to make the decisions yourself about what to do next, the learning gets to be very active and that makes all the difference for remembering it later on. So um, we're really glad that you're here today to help us do some building and uh, we appreciate your work, but we also really have to request you to work very carefully and precisely because if the subunits are made incorrectly, a lot of the students will have trouble figuring out what's going on and following the directions. So we so much appreciate your help today and I look forward just to helping get across the more complicated scientific um, stories that are happening inside yourselves today.